and welcome to Causes of Hair Loss Part 2. In our previous video, we explored many ways that women are losing their hair at an alarming rate. 60% of women after 40 are experiencing some kind of hair loss. Continue watching to learn more. Did you know that the products you use every day can contribute to your hair loss? The U.S. allows many unsafe and untested ingredients to be added to your products, such as shampoo, hairspray, lotion, deodorant, and even toothpaste. Be sure to read the labels on all your products and look out for things like atrazine and phthalates, both of which are used as pesticides and can negatively alter one's hormones and can cause a number of long-term illnesses such as lung, thyroid, and bone marrow cancer. In 2018, Europe banned over 1,300 toxic ingredients, while the US banned only 30. These such ingredients are also included in many processed American foods. Color treating or bleaching damaged hair can cause hair breakage or even a major loss of fiber. Additionally, using other types of hair treatments, such as relaxers, can be detrimental to the state of your hair. If you have damaged or thin hair, please never use relaxers. Damage or scarring to the hair follicle of any kind can lead to alopecia. Whether that scarring is from an injury or from traction injuries, such as scratching from trichotillomania or wearing your hair too tight, it can affect whether the hair will grow back in the damaged area. Wigs.com caters to millions of people per year who wear wigs due to hair loss caused by various conditions. That's why we carry hyper-realistic and comfortable wigs for every stage of hair loss, from temporary thinning to complete loss of fiber. If you want to see any other reasons for hair loss covered, be sure to comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching.